Good morning. Good morning, everyone. I'm so sorry we missed you this morning in our live Zoom morning meeting. I hope tomorrow you can join us. Remember, the link is in your seesaw. You have to scroll down a little bit to find it. It's a blue square. And also, the ID number and the um, passcode are, is in the Remind app. So try to join us tomorrow. I have heard some, from some parents, and I know why some kids were absent, but we do wanna to try to get everybody here together every day at nine o'clock, okay? Great, so welcome to kindergarten. Let's sing our good morning song. Are you ready? Get your clapping hands ready. Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. The day is beginning, there's so much to do. Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. And if it's the afternoon or the evening, good afternoon or good evening. And we're just glad you're here in Seesaw to see your morning meeting. So here is our message for today. Dear kindergartners, today is Wednesday, August 26, 2020. Today, we will be learning more about what it means to be a good friend and we will meet our friend Z. I cannot wait for you to meet Z. This week our goal, remember, is to be able to identify, that means to name, and distinguish between, tell the difference between letters and numbers. Love, Miss Grady, and Miss Payne. So that's our big focus this week. Learning about friendship, what it means to be a good friend, and learning the difference between letters and numbers. So, we're gonna start with Z. And I want you guys to meet Z. And Z comes with a really fun song that we get to sing together. I haven't learned all the words yet, have you, Miss Grady? Not yet. Not, okay, we're still learning the lyrics to the song, but I do know when to clap, all right? So you, I know we can get the hang of that part and then we'll start to learn the words. Okay, here we go. I'm going to press play and we're going to listen to the song about Z. It's Z time, Z time, time to learn with Z. It's Z time, Z time, friend to learn with me. Let's join together. and it gets me dancing and moving my body. I love it. So this is Z, and I'm about to read you a story about Z, okay? And he is going to help us learn about friendship and what it's like to make new friends, all right? So have you ever met a new friend? Our, our classmates this morning were talking about how sometimes they go to the park and they make a new friend, Sometimes they go to the beach and they make a new friend. And those friends you might have just for a day while you're there together. But then also you can have friends you've had in preschool and you guys were friends for a couple years. Or maybe you're friends with your brother or your sister, your cousins, right? 
so you can have family friends too. Well, this story is about some kids just like you, and they meet a new friend named Z. Z helps the kids learn, oh wait, the kids help Z learn about children on earth and about friendship. As you listen to the story, pay attention to what the characters say and how they feel when they meet new friends. Look at this big bright picture. Now this is a tree house. We were talking this morning, some of us don't know what tree houses are because they aren't, a, I wouldn't say they're very common anymore because they can be dangerous, right? Yeah, because they're way high up in the tree, but they are really cool. So look at this tree house. Oh, and I see a spaceship and I see friends playing. Well, it was a bright and beautiful day, perfect for kids and playing with friends. The sunny side of the park, some kids were in the tree house. Oh, that's it. I want to see if I need to scoot over. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Okay, there we go. They played together every afternoon, but something about this day felt very different than others. There was something special in the air. I wonder what that was. Did you see something in the air in that picture? Well, uh-oh. Suddenly, the kids heard a loud crash. It sounded as if it happened right outside the tree house. Can you predict what happened? I know you saw that something in the air. I think there is something in the bushes, said Jeremy as he looked out the window. I'm going to go see what it is. I'll go with you offered his buddy, Kayla. So the two friends tippy-toed down the treehouse ladder across the street, tip-tap, tip-tap. Here it is, look. When the kids peeked around the bushes, they couldn't believe their eyes. It was a shiny rocket ship and a small green alien. The alien had ears that looked like trumpets and an orange antenna shaped like the letter Z. It does have an extra piece on it though. It's not truly a Z now. See how it has this extra piece? There's our Z. Okay. The kids came out from behind the bushes to talk to the alien. My name is Jeremy. And this is my friend Kayla. Who are you? My name is Z, said the alien with a grin. The kids laughed. That's a neat name. Thank you, said the alien. Just call me Z. The kids invited Z to the treehouse to meet the rest of their friends. What is a friend, asked Z. A friend is someone who you care about and like to spend time with, explained Kayla. I have lots of fun with my friends. Z was confused. It looks like we have a lot to help you learn, said the kids. Jeremy and Kayla brought Z to the treehouse to meet all the other kids. They were so excited to have a new friend. Look at all the kids, see how different they are? They all look very different, don't they? Yes, and they are friends. The kids gathered around to meet Z. Hi, Z, welcome to our tree house. Z smiled and waved to all of his new friends, but he did feel a little shy. Would you like to say hello? to Z. Can you say hello to Z? He wants to hear you. Hi. Yes, he is so happy to meet you guys. He cannot wait to see you in real life. He loves watching you on Seesaw and in our videos. 
I am so glad that you guys uh, joined me today for this story about friendship. And tomorrow we get to see how, what happens next. What is Z going to do next after he makes these new friends? Okay. So now what I'm going to ask you guys to do is give me a little more of your attention. Just a couple more minutes. I want to come over here quickly and review what we talked about yesterday. Yesterday we read... We read the book Chicka Chicka Boom Boom, didn't we? We read Chicka Chicka Boom Boom. And we talked about our learning intentions for the week. Your learning intentions, that's a big fancy way to say your goal. What do you, what do you want to accomplish? What do you want to do this week? We want to be able to distinguish between letters and numbers. We want to be able to tell the difference between a letter and a number because they're very different things, right? So I'll know that you have been successful and you've met your goal when you can name your letters and you can name your numbers. That's how I'm gonna know that you met your goal. And if you don't, that's okay too because that gives me information that I need to teach you some more and we need to spend more time on it. That's okay, we're not always gonna meet, meet our goal in one week. Okay, it's just what we're working on. It's what we're focused on as a learner. So yesterday we made a circle map. What is a letter? And what, we, what kind of happened is we started talking more about where do we find letters? Where do we find them? You guys have found them at your home. You found them in books. You have found some on the television or the TV. You found them on packages of food. You found them in your games. We see letters on cars. You guys have found letters. Um, you know what? We even found letters on cash money. Did you know there are letters on cash? Yes, there are letters on the dollar bills. It was, we, and you know what else was so important that we learned? We talked about this this morning. There are letters in your name. Yes, there are letters in your name. And we also talked about how there are uppercase letters and lowercase letters, and they're very different. Today on Seesaw, for your independent activity, you're gonna be matching uppercase letters. You're just gonna drag and drop, and you're gonna match the letters all by yourself, okay? And you also get to listen to a song about being a good friend. I cannot wait to hear your responses. And I'll be making voice comments so you guys can hear me when you have time. Okay? I hope you all have a great day. I hope to see you tomorrow at 9 o'clock on our, on our Zoom morning meeting because I want you here with us. Bye, everybody. Have a great day.